All right, my friends. Combine your cells, <clears throat> fibers, and ground substance in different concentrations and flavors, and you're going to get a great diversity of possible tissues. So we're, I'm going to show you how we break down connective tissues. First of all, there are um, three main types of connective tissue. I hope I am giving myself enough room. There is connective tissue proper. This is your, like, traditional um, connective tissue. When you think of connective tissue, you think of connective tissue proper. You don't really think of structural connective tissue. In fact, structural connective tissue is, um, it's just kind of surprising, but give me, tell me. I've already told you what an example, a couple of examples, all the examples are. Bone and cartilage, that's your structural connective tissue. And then you have fluid connective tissue. Who's my fluid connective tissue? There's only one of those clowns. And let's just fill it in right now because um, we can. We know, we know who that guy is. Blood is my only fluid connective tissue. That's cool. Let's do structural connective tissue next because bone and cartilage actually are um, logically, like, they're, they're really similar to each other. So our two kinds of structural connective tissue are bone and cartilage. And bone and cartilage, my homies, there are actually three, there th um, two bones and three cartilages. Bone can be compact or spongy. And in the last piece of this lecture, I'm going to show you a picture of every one of our 20 um, connective tissues, and I'm going to talk you through, like, how we're going to tell the difference. Like, what's the difference between compact bone and spongy bone? So uh, this is giving you a big picture. We'll look at specific examples when we go through it at the end, um, and then we get to spend the entire lab playing with these guys and practicing them. There's three kinds of cartilage. There's a cartilage called hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is found on the ends of your long bones. So it's that, and like your epiphyseal plate is made of hyaline cartilage. Um, those are the growth plates in your long bones. We also have a substance called fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage is super tough, like, the fibers in fibrocartilage are crazy um, strong collagen fibers, and fibrocartilage is found in places where you have grinding, like um, the meniscus, like your menisci in your knees. Those are made out of fibrocartilage. The discs, the vertebral, intervertebral discs um, in your spine are also fibrocartilage. And focus one more elastic cartilage, which I already mentioned to you. So elastic cartilage, you can imagine, is just full of elastic fibers. Um, all of them have collagen fibers. Hyaline cartilage, you can't really see the collagen fibers so much. Connective tissue proper has two main flavors. You have loose, connective tissue proper, and you have dense connective tissue proper. And loose connective tissue, huh, adipose is an example of loose connective tissue, and a realer connective tissue is an example of loose connective tissue. Sometimes a realer connective tissue is called loose connective tissue. So if you see something where somebody's like, dude, look at that loose connective tissue, you can know that they're going to probably be talking about a real or connective tissue. 
Dense connective tissue also comes in two flavors. We have um, dense regular and dense irregular connective tissue. And dense regular and dense irregular connective tissue both have really big, significant collagen fibers. But in dense regular, all the collagen fibers are going the same direction. And in dense irregular, they're not. Now, our last two tissue types, muscle and nervous tissue, we're not going to break it up because the functions and the structures and the different types they're not nearly as um, complicated as epithelium or connective tissues. Connective tissues are the craziest. So let's look at our um, last two, muscle and nervous tissue. Muscle first. 